Well, it actually worked out good for me. Um, the day just kind of checked out there. I slowly really in Jason a little bit. I kind of didn't want to yell at him, I think, because it took a couple laps to get going <laughs> after the break. You start before that, but I had not been at the top at all, not once. So um, I knew Danny and Jason were up there running really good. And uh, and uh, I, I kind of see where Danny ran that uh, restart before. So um, I went up and tried that top. And I, I felt really good. I just didn't quite nail it perfect. And he got away from us there, but then the yellow came out. So it gave me another opportunity to uh, kind of perfect it. This side, I had not been up there, like I said. And uh, it gave me a chance to practice it once. And we just really nailed it on that second one. And Danny came off to it, got a little bit loose, and then just got a good run. Uh, Jason, TJ, It seemed like that shorter ones you were able to gain up on some of the Well, really, I just, um, you know, I just think I kind of got beat by experience. Them guys know where to go and how they hit their marks, and you know, I just couldn't make a uh, consistent lap one after another. I had one shot there at the ending on a restart, and um, you know, I just never perfected the slide job from turn three, turn four, and he drove back by. And, and then once Terry got by me, um, you know, it really threw me for a loop because he was running where I think anybody could be. So uh, I just stuck to my line and. Next thing you know, you know, Terry perfected the same thing that I was trying to do the previous restart. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's, you're sitting up and you're sitting out front like Lasowski was, but, uh, you know, I learned some good lessons and we'll come back on Saturday. Terry, Terry, I have a story going from the grade. Obviously, a lot of good guys in front of you. When did you really think you had a shot at this thing, or really did you think you had a shot at the beginning? Well, I always prayed for a safe race more than anything, and that, you know, first time I could. I knew where the points were at, but with Darren last night, he was 15 quick like I was, and ran one behind me in the heat, and he ran four or six there in the future, so I'm glad to be better than that. So I was praying for a top five, and then we just kept hitting our marks. Like Jason said, I really, I was a little tight early on in the thing, and it kind of lost a couple. It got me on the start, and kind of got me up out of my spot, and, and uh, lost a few, and I got them right back, and everybody started sliding each other, and, and they were really racing hard back there with Carrie and Joey and everybody, and Sammy, and uh, I just kept hitting my marks and they were sliding around, you know, uh, slowing each other down a little bit. I just kind of got them and, uh, you know, that, that yellow come out and I got the third. I'm like, man, I, I should have prayed for, uh, prayed for a win here. So, uh, but I just had a great race car. Doug, Doug Rankin, uh, local Knoxville guy here, has really helped my team out so much. And him and my son Austin actually, you know, put their heads together. I actually we ran second heat and I was horrible. I, I really wasn't, I didn't feel good about that, but I wasn't, you know, we did a pretty good time trial for when we went out. You know, Danny's been really, really fast. and. And he barely beat us, so I knew we were, we were pretty good for when we went out. But in the heat race, I was not good at all. I had a horrible car, and uh, just got real lucky. And uh, so we just made wholesale changes. That's something you really don't want to do with the Nationals, but uh, we just felt we should start ninth, and uh, it never really worked. Dan, over here. You've been playing this thing out now for the last 18 minutes. What do you do differently? <laughs> I try to beat the 24. <laughs> <laughs> I. I didn't feel I made too many, like Terry's correct. Uh, I slipped off a of two one time, and that's all it takes here. You know, when you've got the experience of these guys right here, you can't mess up one lap. You've got to make every lap count. And, uh, I had a driver there, and possibly uh, out front. You never know what quite could be every lap. You know, you're setting up just like Jason said. Uh, I thought we were putting a pretty good pace, and I'm going to restart here. It's, it's, uh, it's a do or die. There's one or the other. You're going to get slid in one or two, or get slid in three and four if you miss. And that's what happened. We got beat, and uh, we ran second. Uh, that wasn't for lack of effort for all our team. Guy for and Ty Curran put a great team to still make a comp car. Very proud to drive with Brian Morrison, horsepower. Again, it's made my job uh, a lot easier than I've told everybody in this room. I feel 18 again, and I'm ready to go for Saturday night.